I got a little bone to pick with Mike Morgan. He is stirring up the pot. We're gonna set the record straight. All right, so a viewer sent over a link to me from one of Mike's recent videos, and I am subscribed to Mike as well. Love this channel, love what they have going on. I watch his channel possibly more than any other channel. So, um, but before I had a chance to watch this one, he was going to get his tires filled with uh, a different liquid ballast. They used to use RimGuard, they used to use calcium chloride. They're on to something, another product, um, BioBallast is what it was. And he had mentioned by word of mouth that they said they stopped using RimGuard because there's issues with the tires, the fluid's leaking out, whether it's ruining the rubber, the valve stems, corroding, whatever it is, there's a reason that they don't do it. He wasn't really sure what it was. You know, on, on second thought, let's just watch the clip from Mike really quick. That way we know exactly what his dealer told him and what he's relaying. And then um, there's some comments in his video too, some comments in my videos, it, it just comes up, right? So we'll go through it, give you the answer straight from the horse's mouth from RimGuard, applies to all liquid ballast in general. Take it away. All right, I got the uh, tractor picked up and it's about 500 pounds heavier than when I dropped it off this morning. Uh, they put 22 gallons of bio ballast, it's called, in each back tire, and it weighs about 11.7 uh, pounds per gallon, which works out to about 257 pounds per tire. So that'll give that tractor uh, some really nice additional weight where it needs it. Now, something I wanted to tell you, I don't know what to think. I used to put rim guard uh, for in tractor tires. And I thought that was the thing that everybody did. You know, they used to use calcium, but they found out that it was corrosive and they'd put antifreeze in there for added weight, but it's not as heavy, uh, but it won't freeze. And then they came out with the beet juice stuff, which I think they call it rim guard. And everybody swore by that. Now these guys are telling me that rim guard, uh, they have found that it is corrosive on the valve cores in tires. So they stopped using it. Take it for what it's worth. You know, he said, she said kind of thing. Uh, I don't know the whole story, but we are trying out bio ballast. I don't know about rim guard. I don't want to bash a product or anything like that if I don't have any personal experience with it. All right, so I think the uh, the stem of the issue is gonna be with the valve cores or the, <laughs> the stems, the fill stems on your tires themselves where this is kind of, there's a misunderstanding and I, I wanna try to break this down in a way that makes simple sense all right all right so corroding valve cores that's the the issue at hand so first thing i did logically i just went right to rimguard's website they have an faq page started scrolling through those faqs and i found this are there any disadvantages to beet juice ballast i don't know maybe like corrosion for example and they say there are no functional disadvantages rimguard beet juice will prevent rim corrosion for the life of the tractor and it is environmentally friendly and a lot of other things that we've talked about. Okay, so that addresses the corrosion side of things. A couple questions down, can I use rubber valve stems with beet juice ballast? It is important when installing liquid tire ballast that you consult a tire professional to ensure you have industry standard valve stems capable of handling air and, which is in all caps, liquid. Okay, so there's a difference between a valve stem or valve core that will only handle air versus one that will handle air and liquid. All right, so, you know, that was good enough for me, but it wasn't. So <laughs> I, I talked right to, to Bob and to Craig over at RimGuard to get just plain as day. I wanna know, tell me the truth, what's going on with this? Is it a problem or not? And so I got a nice, very detailed response back from them. Pictures, information, real factual stuff that I can share and I'll put it somewhere, right? Maybe I can put it on my website. I can't, I can't put, everything very well in a YouTube video. So maybe on a forum, I don't know. I'll find some place to put it and let you know where that's at too. So I'm gonna share that with you. But first, it's worth a quick overview of what we're talking about because we're staring at, well, we're sort of staring at tire ballast right now. RimGuard, it's inside these tires. So liquid ballast just lives inside your tractor tires. It's great counterweight. So if you're lifting up something really heavy up here, you have more weight sitting back here to offset it, keep your tires planted on the ground. And so it's really a safety product at that point, but it's even more than that because if your rear tires are on the ground, that means you're gonna have more power to the ground, more traction to get done what you need to get done. And it's gonna make your loader operation more efficient because you're, you're not kind of bouncing up and off the ground and everything else and kind of light and on the rear end. So you can use your loader more efficiently no matter what tool you have on it. And so I went and looked up bio ballast. I have ran across this before 
but that was about it, right? So I wanted to look it up and see what it was about. And honestly, a lot of the stuff is pretty similar to what RimGuard is. It looks like it's the byproduct of a different crop, um, but at the heart of it, it's still a byproduct from ag use, you know, whether it's beets or corn or whatever, it's still the same kind of concept. It's a liquid ballast, it's environmentally friendly. Um, it's not corrosive the same way that RimGuard is not corrosive. The biggest difference I actually saw was the fact that they, they don't, I went to two different websites and I couldn't find a straightforward answer on how much it weighs per gallon. RimGuard right on their website says 10.7 to 11 pounds per gallon. And so you can do some reverse math and, and figure out that bio ballast is gonna weigh about a pound less per gallon. And so you're, it's just not as dense of a product. And you know, whatever, I'm not, this isn't about bashing bio ballast or anybody else. I mean, calcium chloride is actually still recommended, I think, the last time I checked, in a lot of John Deere manuals. And you, it's like one part calcium chloride and three or four parts water. And a big part of that, making sure that it's not corroding the rims, is making sure that everything is fully covered. And so there's no oxygen that's getting into the mix down here and having that reaction that starts the corrosion process. And that comes into play when something's not filled properly, um, or if you get a puncture in there and it starts to drain down slowly over time, you don't realize it. Well, if you've been around farming and tractors, you'll just, you'll, somebody will comment in this video how their rims rotted out right around that valve core because of the calcium chloride. All right, so dummy right here, dummy mind, simplistic view of this whole, whole thing, okay? So we're talking about corrosion, right? Um, so obviously rubber's not corroding, right? So there's, there's rubber valve stems on most wheels that come out, wheels and tires, you know, just for air. Air use only is pretty typical, it's a standard setup. So if rubber was deteriorating somehow, then, then maybe, maybe the rubber tires would be deteriorating too and you'd have tires with holes in them all over the place, but that's just not happening. So it's a different reaction that's going on. So the fact that RimGuard founded in 1998, 25 years old, millions and millions and millions of gallons out there all over the world, I think, <laughs> I think, this might have been uncovered at some time before and they would have done something about it. So that's not the issue. And what it is, is a reaction that's going on with the air only valve stems that are in most of these tires. And just for a completely independent point of view, and maybe we can find this in, in old video as well, but our tire shop that's over here in, over here in Matawan, he uses a different liquid ballast. He always recommends replacing the valve stems when using his liquid ballast, all right? Because it's just a thing. A good tire shop's gonna know that you need to replace the other components to make sure they're compatible with what you're putting inside your tire. So I think I remember another thing I think you told me a long time ago is if on the newer tires or anytime you're gonna be adding liquid to it, if it's a rubber valve stem, you replace it with? 100%. If okay. you're gonna put fluid in a tire at all, make sure it's got a all metal valve stem on it. All metal. Okay, so I got an email right from them. I just wanted the information there because I'll, I'll forget other ways, okay? So I wanted it written and sent to me and they sent me a, a good write-up on it. But basically there's two types of valve stems out there. There's air only and there's those that are air and liquid, sometimes referred to as tractor or wet valve stems. As the name implies, air only stems are intended to be used for applications when air and nitrogen is the only thing that will be used to fill the tire. These valve stems are not designed nor intended to be used with any liquid ballast. The problem with using this type of valve stem with liquid ballast is due to the way they are manufactured. Metal components are typically glued into the rubber stem, and this is the core <laughs> of the whole thing right here, okay? It's the glue, all right? If the adhesives remain dry, air only, they are fine. If you introduce any type of liquid ballast, now the adhesives are soaking in the liquid and will soften. Eventually, the adhesives become so weak that the rubber valve stem will delaminate and separate from the metal components, allowing the contents in the tire to escape. So really, this is an air versus liquid issue, not a rim guard versus anything else issue. And this is more of an education, broad spectrum, whatever liquid ballast you get, if you go get the washer fluid, if you're down south and you get water, whatever it is, you need to be aware that you need to have a compatible valve stem, valve core, all included in that swap. Otherwise, you're gonna run into this issue sometime down the road. Not that big of a deal if it's just water. It's, a, it's an inconvenience still, but it's not an expensive one like it is with RimGuard or um, the bio ballast or whatever else you get. So ask the stupid question because your tire guy needs to know, and if he doesn't know, well, now's the time to find out. That way it's done ahead of time. It doesn't matter what it is, right? If it's the bio ballast or uh, hopefully, with Mike, they changed out the valve stems. I don't know, Mike, you tell me. 
Otherwise, maybe it's an education for them to make sure that no matter what liquid ballast they're using, it still needs to be done. So anyway, that's a bit of an education. Um, some good clarification for me too. Thanks for bringing it up really to Mike even. it's. I mean, he's just got so many topics on his channel and, and you never know what path you're gonna go down. So uh, check his channel out if for some reason you're not subscribed to it yet. Really awesome stuff over there. Of course, we're sponsored by RimGuard for good reason. We believe in ballast weight and being properly planted to the ground. It, tractor rollovers, number one way that people die on a tractor, okay? It's just very dangerous, so have your tires ballasted, get ballast weight, whatever you wanna do. Other than that, we got a big snowstorm coming in and I am looking forward to it. So Christmas is a couple days away. You know, I like Christmas, but I'm really looking forward to the snow coming in. So we're gonna get set up for that. Snow blower on the back of the summit, gonna see how that does. Gonna put a snow pusher on front, gonna try a rear blade on the tractor too, seeing how that does clearing some mud and some gravel. A lot of cool stuff coming, so make sure you hit subscribe down below to see more. And we sell all sorts of tractor attachments, snow blowers, grapples, pallet forks, ballast weight, you name it. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.